Hey guys, what's up? By Sectatron here from One Half Gazette, here with the long awaited Town Hall 9 live base build episode. You guys have been asking for this for quite a while, so I'm going to be building a Town Hall 9 base for you guys live. Uh, just don't have any plans really, just going to, a few ideas I guess for defending against different strategies, but this is just kind of as I go making the base up, just uh, play it by ear as the base goes. So we'll see how this base ends up, but um, you guys also mentioned that. Uh, you wanted to see this base be attacked in some friendly challenges and I think that's a great idea so as you can see I have a Town Hall 9 account this is Anthony's so shout out to Anthony for the account and uh, basically what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this a step further I'm gonna let you guys attack this base um, you Town Hall 9's out there so this place will be in my subscriber clan 3 Star Union and this video will be uploaded probably a day after it's recorded, meaning that as soon as this base is, or this video is uploaded, the base will be ready for friendly challenge. So if you're watching this video right now, go on my Twitter and be sure to follow me and look for a tweet that says the subscriber clan is now open. You can come and friendly challenge this base. So you can bring a Town Hall 9 account over, attack this base a few times, uh, if you have time, if you're not busy in a war or something. But um, I only need a few people to do it, so it's kind of going to be first come, first serve, only to go on for a short period of time. But train up any army you want. Now, you might not want to watch this video. You might want to watch it after you do your attacks and then see uh, how the base was ended up being built, just so you don't know where the traps are. But you're also welcome to watch this video, then based on where the traps are, plan your attack off that. Either way you want to do it is fine. Um, but anyway, just know that as soon as this video is uploaded, uh, be sure to check my Twitter if you're a Town Hall 9. Follow me on Twitter if you haven't already and be looking for an announcement saying you can join my subscriber clan. All the information to join will be in the tweet. So look for that and uh, I'll be sure to make another video follow up to this one uh, showing the attacks on this base and we'll see how it works out. It might get three star a bunch, it might not. We'll see how it goes. So anyway, let's build this base though. Uh, we're going to start in here with uh, kind of as I did in one of my other videos, an anti HGHB. Uh, hero compartment. I'm going to add a little bit of a twist to it based on what you guys were saying. You guys gave me some great feedback on that little half of a base that I built. So based on your feedback, I'm going to kind of adjust this base uh, to defend a little better than it might have originally. So I'm going to do a similar compartment basically. This is about the right size I think. I uh, will put the queen down kind of towards the back here. We'll have the king towards the outside with some HP. Uh, there, we'll put the uh, archer tower in right here. We'll throw a cannon in as well over here. And uh, we'll go ahead and put a wizard tower back here also. So this will be the uh, essence of, the, of this main compartment right like this. That looks good. Now I'm going to have a dead zone space similar to last time. I'll just put that over here. Um, we'll have it go like that. So now we have a little bit of a dead zone. We'll actually make this shorter um, like that. And we'll talk about defending against Valks and other stuff too. Right now, this main part of the base is anti-HGHB because 95% of the time, they're going to come at your hero compartment with the HGHB attack. So anyway, that's how we're going to do it there. Then we're going to have that compartment up here that has the, uh, the defense that leads them into the spring traps. So we'll just kind of make it about that size, I think, is what's needed. Somewhere around here, we'll go ahead and throw an air defense in here. Um, I don't think that's too exposed. Uh, and we'll only put one of them near the queen. We'll put down these two Teslas like that. We'll go ahead and make this smaller to fit the right size um, like that. And we'll make it, you know, obviously be able so, to fit uh, without them dropping troops in the middle. So that's good right like that. Now one th adjustment I'm going to make, I'm going to take out a wall right there and put down a spring trap. And this makes it so that the bowlers can't sit back while the giants beat on the wall and eliminate the spring trap possibilities. Now the giants go straight into the spring traps. I'm going to put four of them in here and uh, the giants are going to be in some big trouble if they do come in this route on the base. So it's a bit of a sacrifice putting the spring traps like that, but it should pay off. Um, going to put an a HP building there and then uh, just to make sure there's no other defenses attracting the Giants. Then what we're also going to do is have the air defense, I think kind of similar to what I did last time, and have the air sweeper that pushes the healers towards that, um, towards that air defense. 
to try to take out some healers as well. And that air defense can't be sniped by the queen or anything. So that's perfect there. We'll, we'll keep it like in that area. That's about good. So anyway, everything looks good on this part of the base so far. Now what I want to do up here is have a core that is open and leads out of the base. This is how you want to get Valks to leave the base. So you'll see what I mean as I make this happen. I'm going to have kind of a big compartment like that. And that's just going to be exposed. It's going to lead out of the base here. Um, so we'll put some defenses. We'll put probably an expo in here, a, uh, a wizard tower uh, like that. We'll put even a, a cannon right like this. Just load it up on defenses here. But we're going to have some HP also um, to defend against any kind of queen charge that goes down this lane. Uh, we'll make this a little wider so we can fit some more HP. And this is basically going to try to get Valks to leave the base. So they're gonna. this is, area is going to attract Valks for them to exit. We'll also put some HP at the bottom here to help protect the queen because she is a little bit exposed. So we'll have to go like that. That'll use up pretty much all the HP we have, but I think that's a good placement on everything. And uh, let me fill in just, uh, we'll put probably an air defense or something in there. If we move this expo over, we'll put an air defense right like that. But basically the idea is that this is going to be a compartment that, that the Valks eventually go into. It's near the core of the base. And if they come from a different angle, which they probably will, they're going to be led out of the base by all this HP touching. So that's a big part of the space and we'll kind of build around that. So anyway, let's start to make some other compartments here. Uh, I forgot the CC actually, which is kind of weird. Uh, so we'll put the CC in, I guess we'll just replace the uh, cannon, actually the wizard tower, keep the cannon. Um, where's my clan castle? Um, where is it? There it is, it's the end here. Okay, so the CC will go right there. That's perfect. Um, from here, we will have the uh, other air defense go somewhere in this area. So we'll just kind of keep that around there for later uh, when this base shapes up a little more. But let's fi finish off this compartment right over here. We can put some defenses around like that. Just kind of keep it, we have quite a few walls at our disposal. So we'll just kind of uh, fill in stuff like this, have multiple compartments make it difficult for Valks to really move through the base too easily and uh, see what else we can do here. Um, we can fill in kind of around this area like that. We will have um, a compartment that goes like that and we'll have one up here. I'm just going to fill in, back when I was at Town Hall 9, this is what I used to do. Just kind of once the main part of the base is done, fill in the walls and then go from there. That helps give the base a little more structure. So we'll go down like that, then we'll make another compartment here. Um, that's perfect. And uh, we have quite a few walls, and a compact base is better. When in doubt, make these Town Hall 9 bases compact, and that's exactly what we're going to do here. So we're going to make a bunch of little compartments. Uh, we'll have one like that. We'll probably have one like this. Um, we'll put a Town Hall 9... Uh, uh, sorry, I'm losing my uh, train of thought. We'll put a compartment there. Uh, one like that, like that. Just really segment this base. It's going to make it difficult for anything to move through it too easily. And uh, we might have to expand it in some places. So I'm going to keep a few walls in case I have to build one compartment out a little more. I might want to do it here to help defend the CC lure. Um, so we can put a defense there to prevent the CC lure. But now we're going to start to think about double giant bomb spots. And I think that a good one would be uh, if I put an archer tower, actually maybe an expo, where's my other expo right here? If I put one of my expos right like this, um, we'll put that on, oops, we'll put the expo on uh, ground only. I think that's the best bet um, right now at Town Hall 9. We'll put a wall there and we'll put the double giant bomb set like that. And you might think, oh, this isn't going to be the best. It could be single triggered. But really what matters is coming from the angle um, of the outside because no one really sends the hogs to the entire base. It's rare that we see a bit, uh, attack that has a ton of hogs being used. Typically it's only going to be uh, a few hogs, maybe 10 to 12 that are used. So they're going to be coming from the outside in, not from the inside out. Typically something else will penetrate the inside of the base. So 
mainly wor worrying about the pathing uh, coming from the outside, and that is good on this right here. Looks like there's not going to be too many chances for a single trigger. We can actually move these two over and put something right there. Uh, so that looks good. Everything's lined up for a nice giant bomb set there. We can put the other one kind of towards the other side of the base here. Um, what could we do? We could put the giant bombs like this actually and have kind of a weird tricky uh, thing going on here with the giant bombs. So if we move that back one, we can put a Tesla like this and just a random defense up here. I guess an archer tower. Uh, we'll put a wizard tower here. And this could be kind of a weird uh, way to have a double giant bomb set. We can actually move this more central so it's more likely both bombs will be triggered. I think that's actually a cool way to have that next double giant bomb set. And you know, sometimes the pathing isn't perfect, but I think that there's definitely going to be some trouble for hogs if they come in on that part of the base or anything else for that matter, really. So anyway, that all looks good. Uh, still have some more walls to work with. We want to start thinking about some anti-queen walk compartments. So why don't we move the walls on this thing out a little bit to protect that archer tower. That's a good anti-queen walk device right there. Put something in front of it there. Uh, put the cannon here. We'll move this wall up like this. And now that archer tower can't be targeted really unless they come inside the base, but it can target quite a bit. So that's good. Um, let's see what else. We can move this expo over here. This might be a better position for it. can cover more of the outside of the base. And we'll put an archer tower in here instead. Um, up top here, uh, let's check the CC radius actually. Um, pretty good. Not, not really any whole lot of opportunities to lure the CC. That's something that's not as important lately, but it's still worthwhile to try to make that a thing so that your CC is not too lurable. But we'll put the point defense like that. Um, we can have, let's see what else we have, a wizard tower, we can actually, I'm trying to think what we'll do with the rest of our uh, defenses, I don't want to have too many wizard towers all clumped up, what we'll do is we'll put the cannon back here, like that, and we'll put the wizard tower up here, so a pretty compact base as you can see, we'll throw down one more Tesla just back in here, um, oops, where'd that go? We do have one more air sweeper too to think about. I wasn't planning on really doing a whole lot with it, but um, as far as this goes, why don't we go like this, move this over one, put the uh, air sweeper right like that, have it push anything, kind of queen entrance, push the healers away, and then we'll put a spring trap in the middle here because it's probably going to be a bunch of Valks going in there. So that all looks good right there. Um, this actually, I think, is going to be a good base. I think it's going to be harder than it looks to three-star. The compact bases tend to work the best, is what I've learned. It's pretty anti-HGHB, uh, which is another bonus. And the Valks are going to have trouble because, like I said, if as soon as they get to the middle here, that's pretty much something they can't avoid, I think, unless they actually come from this angle, uh, in which case they'll be surrounded by all this point defense zoning in on them. I mean, look, look what's surrounding here. This Teslas, all this point defense surrounding them if they come in here plus we'll put down um actually we'll save the spring trap for hogs we can put down the spring trap um just right over here in case some cheeky hogs go in there but really if they come out from any other place on this base there's a lot of buildings touching that's going to lead them out to this hp so i think that's another good thing going for this base um as far as these guys right here uh i'll, I'll hold on to them see what we want to do with them uh still have six walls left so i can I guess make the space even more segmented or protect some point defense or something. Um, let's see what we want to do with the rest of this. Is there any point defense that I can protect a little better? Uh, yeah, we'll go ahead and actually, I don't know about this. What we can do is kind of, I think, cut off one more compartment here. So we'll go like that. That leaves us two walls and we'll use that to expand this a little better protect that Tesla. Um, there we go. So that's all good stuff there. I think this is a very strong base, like I said. Again, we'll see how it holds up against your guys' attacks. I do have a few mortars to put down, so I'll throw one in this compartment right here uh, like that. I will put down, and I have a few traps left over as well, uh, which I'll put down in a moment. I'll put down one mortar out like that, 
and we'll put one up top here like that. So those are the mortar placement. Um, now we have some traps to put down. So we'll put down um, some of these little bombs here to take out some wall breakers in different spots. Put one there, one there. Um, we'll put one there, there. Just I don't know where the honestly I don't know where the um, actual buildings are going to be, but those are just around the base. I might move them when I finish off this base later, but uh, that's going to be the general place for those. We'll go ahead and uh, put just in case we do get some air attacks. I'm not defending too much against it explicitly because uh, these compact bases are hard to hit with air anyway, so I'm not too worried about that. Um, but in case they do come in with air, I'm just going to spread this around uh, one for each air defense of those seeking air mines, and then we'll put these kind of towards the outside a little bit. One uh, there, I'll actually go two in this area because there's not a whole lot of air defense coverage. We'll put one here and uh, we'll put the last one up by these wizard towers. Okay, so that's basically the base with these skellies also. I'm gonna put them in here just to help complicate the, uh, the hero compartments. I'll put these on ground uh, to get in there, maybe distract stuff that's targeting the queen, whatnot. I think that's a good placement for those. But anyway, I've put down pretty much everything besides the trash buildings. I'm not gonna waste your guys' time. I'll put down the trash buildings on my own time when I'm not recording, but this is the base. I'll go into photo mode real quick so you guys can see a little better. That's the layout of the base, pretty compact, but I think that's what's gonna work. Again, we have the anti-HGHB compartment at the bottom there with the spring traps, uh, and, I, and also the uh, in the middle part there, we have the anti-valk area to kind of lead those valves outside the base. Okay, so anyway, uh, be looking on my Twitter as soon as this is uploaded, and uh, the first few people that come by will get a chance to hit this base uh, so train up all kinds of different armies, whatever you think will work. And uh, I look forward to seeing you guys, chatting with you guys a little bit, and watching your attacks on this base. Bisect the trend out.